Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and we're back with another iOS 17.5 video. As you probably know by now, iOS 17.5 has just recently been released to the public and it's probably the last big update to iOS 17 that brings new features and changes before we move on to the first beta of iOS 18, which will be on June 10th at WWDC 2024. And it's of course a really, really exciting update. But for now, this is the latest update that we have on iOS. So let's go ahead and take a look into this update. I will show you guys some really useful tips and tricks that I believe every iPhone user running their device on 17.5 must know. So first of all, we're heading to the Books app. As you probably know, with the Books app, Apple has added a few new changes. We have a new reading goal counter and you also will have a new way to actually add a finished date for one of your books. So if we go right here and we go to edit finish date, you will see something different here. Of course, the date and the time picker here is totally different, but you will also have that little button right there with three dots. Now, if you tap on it, instead of choosing the exact date when you have finished reading a book, now you can actually just choose the year. Now, of course, if you have books here that you have read before, you most likely won't remember the exact date when you did finish reading that book. Here, instead of March 20, 26, 2020, I can just go ahead and pick the year. That will be much, much easier to remember. Now, another tip here for the Books app. Now, on the Books app, as I said, you will have a new reading goal counter right there at the top. Just at the top, right at your profile picture, you will see the counter there. So, it shows your goal and, of course, how much you have achieved currently. Now, what you can do is actually tap on it and it will take you to your reading goal settings. If I tap on it like that, you can see it brings me here and from here, I can just go ahead and edit the reading goal or explore the bookstore from here. So right there, I can just go ahead and adjust the goal or share it directly from here. So as easy as that, just tap the reading goal icon at the top of your books app. Now, probably one of the best new features that Apple has added with the new iOS 17.5 is the anti-stalking feature, which now will work with third-party devices as well. So, if you're being tracked by another device that's not Apple certified, it's not made by Apple, whether that be maybe an AirTag or an AirPod, but it's another device, your iPhone will now be able to actually find it out. And you will even be able to actually disable that device. But for you to do that, you will need to have your notifications set up for the anti-stalking feature. So make sure you head on to your settings, go under notifications, and right here, you will find your notifications. So let's just find this real quick. So right here, you will find the tracking notifications. So what you need to do here is go under tracking notifications and make sure that you have them enabled, of course. Make sure you have them on immediate delivery and of course have sounds and also show in car play. Now, what I would suggest you do is go to banner style here. It will be by default temporary, but I would make sure that I choose persistent. That way I will have the banner right there until I see it. So a temporary banner, you know, it will be there for a couple of seconds and it will be gone. But in this case, when it comes to your security and privacy, you want to make sure that you have a persistent banner that stays there until you see it. With the new news app on iOS 17.5, which actually has gotten the most updates out of all the apps that have gotten updates on iOS 17.5, you probably know that we have a new puzzle game called Quartiles right here. And there it is. Now, what's really cool about this game is that you will have a few different options right here. Of course, you will have the game, but if you tap right there on the three dots, then you can view how to play this game. You can view the rankings, or if you want, you can reveal all the words right there. What's really cool is that you can also sort the found core tiles right there, which is really awesome to have that option simply by tapping there. You can actually sort them and even you can share your game directly from here. Now if you want to quickly go to your quartiles game 
that will be very easy to do. Instead of going to the news app, then going under following, going to puzzles, and then finding the quartiles game, you can actually 3D touch here on the news icon and you will have here a few different shortcuts you can tap on puzzles this will take you directly to your games and from there you can just go ahead pick quartiles and play the new game that apple has added to ios 17.5 now the news app on ios 17.5 has a new offline mode now when you don't have an internet connection on your iphone or running ios 17.5 what you can do is go into the news app. Now, from here, you will see this page like this. It says last updated right there. And this is how it looks when it's offline. Now, what it will do right here, you can see we have a few different stories. You can see we go under books here. Basically, these are things that will be downloaded automatically. And you can choose whatever you want to do here. So basically, you go into the settings and then go here under news and you can choose what you want to download. As long as you have automatic downloads turned on, you can choose what you want to download. Maybe your puzzles, audio stories, your saved stories always be downloaded, and then of course the recent stories as well. These are the main things that you probably want to have enabled so that even when you don't have an internet connection here on the news app, you can always go ahead and read the things that are of course right here downloaded for you to read offline. Now this next tip will be only for users on EU, unfortunately. So Apple, as you probably know, has allowed third-party app stores for EU users. And also now with iOS 17.5, they're allowing users to download apps directly from Dev's website. Now, if you have an account, of course, in EU and you have these features, now you can choose whether you want to allow that to happen or not. The way you do that is go to your settings and then go under screen time and then you will have here app installation and purchases and you can choose here under web to allow or not allow apps to be downloaded from websites into your device. And last but not least, we're talking about the new wallpaper collection that Apple has added to iOS 17.5. So you will have here a few different modes of this wallpaper. There are actually five different modes. But if you just want to pick one of them, you don't know which one you want to pick. You don't have to actually switch between all these different wallpapers. You just choose one of them and then just swipe like this and it will show you all the different styles that this wallpaper has to offer. So if we swipe like this, you can see those are the exact same styles. So even if we go here, you can see the exact same styles can be changed right there simply by swiping like this on your lock screen. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. These are eight new tips and tricks that I believe every iPhone user must know once they have updated their device to the new iOS 17.5. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and you found it helpful. If you did, please make sure you hit that like button. And of course, subscribe for more videos. And I will see you on the next one.